Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome. And we hope that this coming Ramadan will be a, a different Ramadan for you. Yeah. You know, a new approach to Ramadan. We, each year we should try to find a better way to do our Ramadan. So we benefit from each and every Ramadan as we progress in life. But uh, today we just wanted to discuss a, a point which a lot of people complain about. Yeah. That in the beginning of Ramadan, we start so strong and vital yeah. and a lot of energy. Yeah. We get into Ramadan. And then, you know, by the time we hit the midpoint, you know, we have, we're, we're sort of going downwards. You know, and then the latter part of Ramadan, we're worn out. We're not really getting, struggling to get there for Laylatul Qadr, you know, the last 10. But we've lost the, the drive and the enthusiasm. So what do you normally advise people in order to be able to maintain that uh, you know, consistency? Yeah. Normally, I would like to remind all the good brothers and sisters, the first thing that we have to uh, remember that whatever we do in the act of worship and ibadah, make sure that our intention is purely for the sake of Allah, sincerely for yourself. With sincerity, then consistency will come. So they need to basically uh, renew their intention on a regular basis. And I actually would say that is probably why Prophet Muhammad had said that whoever doesn't you know, make the intention for the fast every day by Suhoor, you know, before the fast starts, that uh, they don't have a fast, you know, because this was an issue, isn't it? That some people talk about, you know, you can, can you make the intention at the beginning and that's enough for the whole of Ramadan? They said, well, the people are saying, yes, it's okay, but actually Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi said, you should do it every day. So this, this renewal of the intention fits exactly into what you're speaking yeah. about. Just to make sure, because being human, we know our feeling keep on changing. And also our understanding towards Ramadan differ from one to another. The majority of the people today, through our experience, uh, when we talk to them, I think Ramadan become, it's like a tradition, like a culture now. Ramadan past finish. And that's why uh, they don't really understand what the Ramadan want from us. It's not just from... Uh, staying from food, uh, abstaining from food and halal drink and halal food. No, but it's really an exercise you know, that we have to go through to make sure that we become a better person. You know, and that was the point. That was the short reminder. Renewing yeah. our intention, intention. That we shouldn't uh, just go on automatic pilot, mm -hmm. right? We switch to automatic pilot and then you're just sailing. Because sailing won't be smooth, you'll be sailing down. No. Because that's what happens to everybody. Yeah. So we do need to renew that intention, right. you know, be reflecting on what Allah wants from us for Ramadan. You know, because it's not just the ritual, right. yeah. the, the ritual acts that we do. There is something in terms of our spirit, yeah. our character, etc., which is supposed to be improved through Ramadan. So we need to keep that in focus. Yeah. That look right. at Ramadan as a means and not as an end. Yeah. Just like what Allah make it very clear that Allah said, Ya yuhal lazina amanu kutiba alaykum usiyam kama kutiba ala lazina min qablikum la'allakum tatakum. The reason that Allah want us to fast is not to torture us, but to make sure at the end of the day, our piety, our taqwa will increase. But inshallah, if the intention is correct, with the right environment, again, the environment is important. The right jama'ah, who will uh, help each other to make sure that our Ramadan will be the best Ramadan, inshallah. inshallah. Another issue that uh, commonly comes up is, is the issue of the reading of the Quran. Mm -hmm. You know, since Allah called the month of Ramadan, Ramadan, or oh, this was the month chosen for fasting, mm -hmm. connected to the Quran, the Quran, right? Because, you know, Allah said that Shafir it is the month in which. Quran. So this was this was the connection. So this thing from that we understood that we tried to re read the Quran as much as possible in Ramadan. People try to finish the whole Quran in Ramadan, but the focus is on again the letter. You know that people are trying to read finish as quickly as possible, so they just read 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 read. They don't know what is it in the reading. They are not understanding it. So it's very important that whatever we do with the Quran in this month. 
it should be uh, done in such a way that we are absorbing the meanings of the Quran. Because that is where the benefit is. The benefit is not in simply uttering the words, parroting the letters and the sounds, etc. This is not where the benefit is. So, you know, this one, I think, point which uh, people do need to keep in mind, you know, that the, the goal of the reading, see, always think goal. You know, reading is a means. It's not a goal. So what has happened is we've made the reading a goal. So as long as you've done the reading, you've done it. But the, what, what was supposed to be the goal, which was to understand the word and commandments of Allah and implement those commandments in our lives, we missed out. That's why our Prophet Sallallahu always remind us, Iqra'ul Qur'an wa You know, when you recite the Qur'an, we hope all the good brothers and sisters for this coming Ramadan, uh, when you recite the Qur'an, your intention also must be right that you are not just reciting the Qur'an for the sake of reciting and to finish the whole Qur'an in one of Ramadan. But you should make sure that inshallah this year you improve by having the intention that after reciting the Qur'an you want to understand what the Qur'an wants you to do and you act upon. That is how you benefit from the recitation of the Qur'an. So I would say that they should really do it with, along with translation. You know, you read uh, a page in Arabic text and you read what the you meaning. just finished, the meaning of it in the local language, your own language. It'll be easier. Yeah, yeah. It'll be easier. Yeah. Make it easy because Islam is easy. It's not here to make it difficult for us. We know that a lot of people is part of the tradition, their culture. We we'll come to Ramadan, everybody will finish the whole Quran in one month. If you can do it, Alhamdulillah. But we have been doing this almost every year. But there's no improvement in us because we don't understand what we are reading. Just one simple uh, example, in the Surah Al-Fatihah that we have been reciting almost every day, you know, in our prayer, we ask Allah, Ihdina Sirat al-Mustaqim. Until now, we do not know what is a Sirat al-Mustaqim. We are so confused. We follow so many ways. But when we are praying to Allah, we ask Him only one way. Mm -hmm. Show us the way, the right way, the right path, but we are not following at all. This is one of the signs that we don't really understand what we are asking from Allah, even while we are reciting the Quran. So we pray, may Allah make it easy for all of us that our intention for this year, in this coming Ramadan, not just to finish the recitation of Quran, but we have the intention, I want to understand and I want to act upon the Quran. So better, better that we have read, even if it's only Surah Al-Baqarah, we have read that much and have understood what are the meanings in Surah Al-Baqarah and how we can try to implement it rather than to read the whole Quran. Because the Prophet ﷺ did not prescribe that the whole Quran be read. And for sure, in the early years, when the Quran was not completed its revelation, it wasn't, it wasn't read. You know, so the goal really is, as you said, to apply the meanings, to understand what Allah is saying, and apply those meanings in your life. So make that the goal. Even if you only get halfway through al Baqarah, mm -hmm. because you're going to read along with it the tafsir of Ibn Kathir, for example. You want to get the inner meanings, because that's how the Sahaba, that's how they read the Quran. That's how they learned the Quran. Right. Ten verses at a time. They wouldn't go beyond those ten until they understood and applied, or tried to apply whatever they learned. Yeah. We hope Allah will make it easy for all of us in this coming Ramadan. And... Uh, I've seen a lot of people who have done that, the, reading the Quran, one page, and then go through the meaning. It really makes a lot of Big difference. difference. Big know? difference. Alhamdulillah. So may Allah help those who help themselves, inshallah. So don't go for the quantity, just focus on the quality. quality. And so we hope that, inshallah, this Ramadan coming will be the best Ramadan, Amen. inshallah, that we've had up to this point in our lives. Inshallah. So we pray, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us help so that all of us are prepared to go through this whole month of Ramadan smoothly and may Allah accept all our deeds and forgive all our sins. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.